important part when you have to go to is the home but the home area. This home, this thing, you know, this house. This house here is home. This yeah. It gives you access to four main areas of the device. There are only four main areas of the device. One is the whiteboard. Another is the office that is built into the TV. The office is built into the TV. A third is the source, one of them, is the computer that's behind the TV. It's a very small computer and it runs Windows 10. Right? Whenever you switch this on, make sure that you switch it on as well. Because it's basically a computer. You don't switch on the, you don't switch on the TV if the computer is behind it. Sometimes, sometimes, most of the time, it's still just all together because it's running on the same power. But in the event, I think it's best practice. It's very, very best practice. to switch it off. Whenever you want to move from one area, one country to another country, you go back to home. It provides you with the office. So, for example, your USB. Uh, like what you said, I have one more to show just now. It's better if you want to open your programs or whatever the document, the PDF, using the OPS because it's uh, easy to, to manage that because from here you can access your video files, your very specific kinds of files for example, uh, let's say your PDF files, your Excel file is in there whereas when you're using the computer's punya office there are certain limitations of what kind of files you can open that's the reason why some files you won't be able to see in the source you see, especially if you're on the whiteboard version this whiteboard version only opens three kinds of files. One is called the whiteboard file. It's labeled WD. You can see that here. Uh, you open it. In here, you can only uh, access three kinds of files. Whiteboard, images, and certain kinds of PDFs. And that's about it. And when you save as well, when you save it, for example, you want to save a file, there are only three types of files that you can save it to. Whiteboard file, image file, or PDF file. It's the same thing. So the whiteboard only opens those files. If you want to open document files, Excel file, video files, you go to the computer at the back. Alright? The computer at the back. Alright, going back to this one. So that's the third area. So the whiteboard is where you write everything. Uh, the office is where you access the kind of office that this group is they have. Then you have the last your classroom chat. So you go to the whiteboard. First thing you might want to do, maybe you want to change the back, the back color. The the color change it. Change color. Okay. Anything you want to do? Now, one thing that we found out to us, the reason why we updated the software, that we, the firmware, we found the firmware. The reason why we updated the firmware, that we, because we know that this unit is capable of 20 different touches. Meaning, kalau 20 orang menulis sekaligus, you can see 20 different patterns of writing in that at once. And as always, you can actually... <laughs> These are the things that you can do. So these are the things that we believe you cannot do on a whiteboard, a normal whiteboard. Now, how many vertebrals have you got this time? Three. So the advantage of this, uh, over the vertebral, is that for the vertebral, uh, you need to have the projector guy. And then some, sometimes, at the shadow shadow guy, then you cannot work on the shadow shadow guy. And then if you have a lot of students working on it, you need to have a pen. Okay, the vertebral is not finger calibration. Right? If you lose your pen, that's it, you won't be able to use it. Don't lose this pen, but if you, if you happen to misplace it, you can just use your fingers. Like I said, 20 touches can like maximum 20 touches possible. Uh, other than that, I think basically that's, the, that's about it in terms of the whiteboard. You can, for example, if you're done with this slide, you can just delete this slide. Any questions? Want to try? This is the menu. The menu of uh, you interact in the, the interface of the TV is to the right and to the left. 
undo it to go to home where the four things are to hide it my internet uh. Yeah, just take out whatever that you're feeling on that side. 